scientist Michael Coates. Melting quite a bit of ice and snow outside with the temperatures warming above freezing during the day part. At night, it's going to get back below freezing. We're introducing all again this warmer air out of the southwest, and that's bumped our temperatures along with some moisture. But we're not getting any heavy snow and rain showers. By the time this wet weather rolls in our direction, we're just getting very light amounts of snow and rain, and that's what we picked up last night. Less than an inch for many spots around the Snake River Plain, just over an inch or two for some of the foothill and mountain locations on the westward facing slopes. Once to get east of the plane. We're at 33 for Idaho Falls, 32 for Driggs, upper 30s in Pocatelli, and just shy of 40 degrees outside. And we're looking at the mid 20s right now in Chalice. And as we go over to First Lord Viper radar, tracking just a touch of some light snow and rain coming across the Caribou and Eastern Highlands. Also, just a touch of snow and rain in around Pocatello and in Income. And also been seeing some light scattered showers in through Malad. But we are just picking up some moisture here on Viper radar as it creeps back into Bandit County, into Chubbuck and Pocatello. On the whole, though, not a ton of moisture heading our direction. The bulk of the rain is heading into California, Nevada. Of course, they're getting some good rain across Southern California. They even have flash flood warnings uh, down south. But as we look here closer to home, once you get north of the Great Basin, just a trickle of moisture as this energy rolls on shore. And the jet stream is not really helping. It's really just starting to break apart these storms as they get over Nevada. As we get into tonight around 10 o'clock, just a slight chance of snow in the forecast, mostly flurries. As we roll into tomorrow, 6 a.m., we're just starting to wake up. We're opening up the window. We are going to see mostly cloudy conditions with some snow off in the desert. Arco, you could wake up with some snow, but not much. Light snow and rain showers, just enough to put a little slick coat of snow on Highway 20 and 26 there as you're heading out the front door. Uh, so if you're getting across the desert, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a slick drive. Tomorrow around lunchtime, snow and rain starts to pick up, but I'm actually looking more towards rain for Idaho Falls, Blackfoot, and Pocatello. Same deal as we get into Wednesday evening, scattered rain snow showers. Temperatures warm enough that we actually see snow mixing with the rain as we go through the next couple of days. It does not really turn back. Back to normal weather, if you will, with colder temperatures until this weekend. 29 degrees average low tonight. Again, many spots just getting below that 32 degree mark, especially in the upper valley. Pocatello, you're flirting with freezing tonight at 34 for the low, but I'm going to go with a 39 for tomorrow's high. 35 for Rigby and IF. 34 in Arco. 34 also for Mackey. Mid 20s in Salmon. Lower 30s in Chalice with 32 for Stanley. With a 32 mark for Island Park. Upper 20s in West Yellowstone. The upper 20s also for Jackson Hole. And we're into the upper 30s for Malad and into the lower 30s around Bear Lake and Soda Springs. Eight, eight day forecast now coming at you here. As we go into the next eight to 10 days, you'll notice that temperatures are going to start to wean back close to the normal range. Uh, we'll be into the upper 20s for Friday. Then it gets pretty chilly. Once this wet weather leaves us, then we bring in once again that cold air from the north. So we're looking to see highs on Monday and Tuesday only into the upper teens to lower 20s. Pocatello bringing in the wet weather off and on all the way through the rest of the week heading into the weekend. Highs will be again near 40 degrees for Thursday, lower 30s on Saturday. Rexburg, you're bringing highs here, pushing around 35 for the next couple of afternoons, 27 on Saturday with the mid-20s on Saturday, lower 20s on Sunday. Chance of snow, very slight chance of snow this weekend. Blackfoot bringing in more slush, highs into the mid-30s, Wednesday and Thursday. Overnight lows below freezing, back into the mid-20s. And then we'll see colder conditions early next week. Salmon, you're going to be stuck with the mid to upper 20s here, not really breaking free of 30 degrees or getting close to 30, uh, but you are going to be stuck with the tw uh, 20s here as we go through the next couple of days. Pretty chilly, though, as we head back to work on Monday on the backside of this wet weather. Jackson Hole National Parks, you're hitting highs here, upper 20s Wednesday and Thursday. More powder added to the slopes. It's not a ton of snow, but hey, we'll take it. Mostly just light dustings here and there. We're adding a bit of some moisture, but we're going to be seeing just enough snow to get the roads ever so slick. Yeah, uh, that part's scary, so be I, careful. It's not yeah. enough to really get the snow shovel out, like right. in my driveway, but it was enough to yet yeah, be a little careful leaving the neighborhood. Yeah, right. you do well, in those cases. Thank you very much, Michael. And you know, most people don't really think that those icy roads are very fun. No. But when we come back, we'll show you how some people in the Netherlands are making the best of bad weather there. But first, let's see how the markets close for the day.